，向晚亦不是。驱车登古原，夕阳无限好，只是近黄昏。Hey guys, welcome to Learn Chinese Now. I am your host Jared Madsen, and today we have a poem from the Great Tang Dynasty poet Li Shangyin. This poem is called "Deng Le You Yuan." Deng means to ascend. Le means happiness. You means to travel, but like in a happy, fun, playful way. And Yuan means plateau. Le You Yuan is the name of this plateau, the Happy Travel Vacation Plateau. This plateau was located just outside the Tang Dynasty capital of Chang'an, and today that is the modern city of Xi'an. Back in the day, during the Tang Dynasty, all the poets and the scholars and and anybody who wanted to relax, they would head up, they would ascend to this plateau, and you could overlook the city, you could see very far, and it was just kind of a vacation spot. Hundreds of Tang Dynasty poems were written there. It's just this great inspiration, cool, relaxing place. So let's dive into the poem. The first line of the poem begins with "xiang wan." Xiang means moving towards. Wan means late or evening. So we're, it's getting late, basically. Yi bu shi. Yi means mind to think. Bu means not, and shi means comfortable. Yi bu shi means I'm feeling I'm feeling a little comfortable. I'm feeling a little vexed. So the whole line, xiang wan, yi bu shi. It's getting late, but you know what? I'm not really feeling it. I feel I feel stress on my mind. I feel a little I feel a little uncomfortable. The next line is qu chu. Qu means to ride. Chu means a vehicle. So in this case, it would mean a a cart, basically a horse-driven cart. So I'm I'm taking a ride in a horse-driven cart. Deng gu yuan. Deng, like in the title of the poem, means to ascend. Gu means ancient, and Yuan also in the title means plateau. So Deng Gu Yuan, ascending the ancient plateau. So the whole line, Qu Che Deng Gu Yuan. I'm getting on a cart and I'm heading up to the old plateau, right? The old hangout spot. That's where I'm going because it's getting late and I feel a little bit vexed. The third line is Xi Yang. Xi means when the sun is in the west, when the sun is setting. Yang means sun. A side note here. Is oftentimes dictionaries will put that as C first tone, but in Taiwan they say C C Yang fourth tone. C Yang, the Western Sun, Wu Xian Hao, Wu means to not have, Xian means limits, Hao means good. So limitless goodness, right? So C Yang, the setting sun, Wu Xian Hao is amazing. It's there. There's no bounds to how great it is. The last line though begins with 只是 oh 只 but only 是 is right. It's only that right. The last line begins with it's only that 近黄昏近 means close or approaching. 黄 means yellow and 昏 means dusk. So the last two characters 黄昏 are often used together. That just means dusk, right? The the yellow dusk, right? When it's when it's dusk out, there are many colors in the sky. So instead of just calling that 昏 it's a little more po poetic to call it 黄昏 right? The the beautiful, colorful dusk, right? So the last line is 只是近黄昏 It's only that. Dusk is is coming close. We could understand this poem simply on the surface, where you know we we have the poet and he's like, ah, you know, it's 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 getting late in the afternoon. I'm I'm not really feeling it today. You know what? I'm gonna take a cart up to the old happy travel plateau. I'm gonna hang out for a little bit. I'm gonna watch the sun. I'm gonna see the beautiful colors. It's so amazing up there, and you know, but then it's gonna be night and and the party's gonna be over. But As we have seen with other Tang Dynasty poems, it usually doesn't end at that. So, what does the second layer of this poem mean? Well, we have to look at when the poem was written. The poem was written somewhere in between 844 to 845. Now, this is during the Tang Dynasty, but it's during the middle, towards kind of getting close to the end of the Tang Dynasty. The Tang Dynasty was considered the 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 dynasty of culture, right? It brought so much culture to China. So basically, what he's seeing here is he Li Shangyin is kind of he's a little bit he's smart enough to kind of look into the future. He knows that when stuff gets really great, when it gets really amazing, it's probably not going to continue. It's probably going to start to go down, and so that kind of would explain why he's vexed. It's the first line of the poem is right, Xiang Wan Yi Bu Shi. It's getting late. It's getting late in the day. 
It's also getting late in the dynasty, right? This is the afternoon of the dynasty. And so he's kind of feeling a little bit vexed because he knows night is gonna come. So basically, good things don't last. If you have any other poems that you would like me to go over, any other cultural whatever we can, we can dive into and, and explore, please leave those in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. 再见!